Hey, my name is Dustin DeYoung, and I have the pleasure to serve as the Connections Pastor here at New Life. And today we are in our 22nd installment of the Advent Devotional. Now, before we jump into that, I want to ask you a question. Where were you on September 11th, 2001? If you weren't born yet, that's okay. Um, we'll, we'll talk about that here in just a few moments. But if you were alive, and if you were old enough to have any memories of that, I, I if you were like me at all, you probably remember exactly where you were, where you were sitting, where you were standing, who you were around when you heard the news of what happened at the terrorist attacks. It's crazy when we receive news like this because there's so much memory associated with it. Like I remember I was sitting down at home watching Sports Center. It was a Tuesday morning. I was watching Sports Center and uh, it was toward the end of the baseball season and the football season had just begun. There was a bunch of news. Don't really care about baseball. So I was excited about the transition into the football season. And then all of the news, uh, all the sports coverage stopped because there was more important news to share. Maybe uh, for you, that's not the, the, the most world-defying um, news that you've ever received. Maybe you remember where you were when the Berlin Wall came down. Maybe you... Um, Maybe you're old enough, like like my grandparents, to remember um, when Pearl Harbor was attacked. Maybe you're young, you're too young for all of that. And uh, the the most impactful news you've ever heard was the world is stopping because of COVID. See, we receive this news, and it, maybe it's not even world stopping news. Maybe it's just small matters like uh, Sean Miller is fired as head coach of U of A basketball. See, we receive news like this. What do we do? We want to share that news with others. I mean, the Bible talks all the time about do not gossip. Like, there's a reason it says that. It's because it's so easy to want to share what you know with other people. Yet, the Bible also talks about how we need to be careful what the reasons that we share is for. But as we get into our devotional today, the devotional is all about this idea of the angels coming to the shepherds to share the good news about Jesus, about this child who's been born. And if you are a fan of Charlie Brown, then you probably remember that scene in a Charlie Brown Christmas when they actually read from the scriptures. I want to read this for you right now. In Luke chapter 2, starting in verse 8. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angels went away from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and to see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. When they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured up these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, as it had been told them. At the end of the eight days, when he was circumcised, he was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. See, the shepherds hear this great news from the angel that Christ the Messiah has been born. This long-awaited Savior who's going to come and to save Israel, to save all God's people beyond the borders of Israel. He's going to save all mankind. And this is the most amazing news, way better than any news that we've ever heard otherwise. And this Christmas season, this Advent season, as we prepare for the return of Christ, as we celebrate that, that Jesus has already come, and as we look forward to Jesus's next return, or his next coming, his return, as we look forward to that, I want to challenge you. I want to invite you, like the shepherds in this story that we just read, to share that news with others. See, it's so easy to share bad news, but it, how much easier should it be for us to share the good news? 
I mean, we share that kind of stuff all the time. You, you probably post it on Facebook. Hey, I got a job, you know, I got a promotion or, or, you know, like as soon as you get a new job or, or something like that, you post that on, on your profiles. See, we, we want to share what is important to us. And, and the truth is we do share what's important. We make time for what's important. My question to you is this Advent season as we're preparing to celebrate the first coming of Jesus is, is that important to you? Because we, we do share the things that we value. We take time to consider the things that we value. We invest in the things that we truly value. And my question to you is, will you share the good news of Jesus and his coming? Will you share that his coming changes everything? Do you value that above all else? This is the most amazing news that we could ever receive. It makes all the other news worthless. Will you join me in sharing that with a, with a dying and hurting world this Christmas?